What's up squad, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel where I show you the top tips on the fastest way to level each skill in Skyrim. And in this video I'll be showing you the fastest way to power level your archery skill from level 1 all the way to level 100. This will literally take you no time at all and it is very very easy to do as soon as you start the game. So in this guide I'll be showing you two methods to level up your archery skill. Now firstly if you're watching you're going to want to uninstall the unofficial patch mod. That mod actually patches the first method I'm about to show you so obviously you're going to want to uninstall it until you have level 100 archery and then you can just reinstall it later. So to do this method you're first going to want to get Fiandal as a follower. This is very simple to do. You just need to fast travel to Riverwood which is located here on the map. Once you are here just find the wood elf archer named Fiandal. He's usually walking around town or you'll find him near the mill area chopping some wood. So just talk to him and he'll explain a problem that he's having with Sven, who's trying to pick up his babe Camilla. So just ask him about it. He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. So now we must go ahead and help out Fiandu. I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could what you is could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? Again? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. By giving this fake letter here? to Camilla, and we can find Camilla over know. here in the Ooh, Riverwood Trader. So just head on inside and we can talk to her. Now make sure that you pick the conversation option to lie and give Camilla the letter. She will now hate Sven and like Fiandel. Another poem, I bet. He does know how to make a girl blush. What's this? If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean, I'll... You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. Until next time. Job done. Now just go back and talk to Fiandal again and tell him what you did. You will now have the option to make Fiandal your follower and please make sure that you do this first. Tell me as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. I appreciate your help. Please take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Once he's your follower we can start step one. Ask him to train your archery skill. What can I get for you? I'll show you what I know. After you've paid him, you will level up your archery skill. Step 2. Now just tell Fiandal that you would like to trade equipment. Just go into his inventory and simply take back the money you just paid him. Now we're just going to ask him to train us again and then we're just going to take back the money again. So you're literally just going to repeat steps 1 and 2 repeatedly. And it's very important that you repeat it 5 times in a row like I am in the video. Because at this point he will then not teach you anymore. He will only teach you 5 times per level. So for step 3 you must now exit the conversation and level up your character. And then just go back and ask for more training. And once again he's going to train us another 5 times. But it's very important that you train your archery skill at least 5 times before you level up again. Because otherwise you'll make this method a lot slower for yourself later on. And guys if you haven't already make sure you smash that subscribe button because I've got tons more Skyrim guides on their way. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter so you never miss out on my daily Skyrim video guides. And the link for that can be found down in the description below. So we can actually use this method all the way up until level 50 archery. And then Fiandal will not teach you anymore because you would have progressed past his skill level. So at this point we have two options. We can either find another person to teach us archery, which I'll show you in a moment, or we can do it ourselves. So if you want to find another teacher, you can actually find another follower in the Companions Guild called Aaliyah the Huntress. Walk among the stars. 
Now in order to get her as a follower, you must first do a few quests for the companions. And then she'll teach you up to level 75 archery using the exact same method I showed you before. Now one thing that you will notice is as you train up your archery skill, you will need more and more gold to train it. Now obviously it's not too much of a problem because we can just get the gold back, but after level 50 it does get quite costly, so you will need the gold to start off with before you can actually pay for it and take your money back, if that makes sense. So I do suggest that once you do get to around level 50 archery, you can actually move on to using method 2. So for this example, you must firstly activate the Thief Stone. This can be found at the Standing Stones which are located here on the map. And once we activate this stone, it will make your archery skill increase 20% faster. In addition to this, we can also sleep in an owned bed. So a bed that you own or even in an inn in a bed that you've paid for for the night. And this will give you the well-rested buff, which gives you an additional 10% experience boost for a whole 8 hours in-game. So that's a total of 30% extra experience we're going to get when we're trying to level up. Next up, we're going to travel to High Throfgar, located here on the map. And you'll come to this location very on within the main storyline. And when you do come here, you're going to want to bring with you the most powerful bow and arrow that you currently have. And also, as you're leveling up your archery skill, you're going to want to make sure that you invest in the overdraw perk. Because at rank 5, this will make you do double damage with bows. Because the more damage you do, the faster you will level. So that's why we need to do all those things. So just head inside High Throfgar and we're going to have to find a Greybeard that we can sneak up behind and attack. So make sure that you turn up your difficulty to legendary difficulty because this will ensure that your target doesn't die in a few bow shots. And then we're going to find a place where you're hidden and we're going to proceed to sneak attack one of the Greybeards and this will level up your archery skill very very quickly. Now the Greybeards won't actually move as you pelt them in the back with arrows so it makes it really easy to do. But obviously you are going to want to save every five levels or so because if they do detect you and you shoot them a few times, they will turn hostile eventually and you're going to need to reload your save. But this method will level up your sneak skill at the same time as your archery. But it's actually a lot faster and I suggest doing it this way because you actually do more damage from sneak attacks with a bow. So this means that you level up your archery skill a lot faster. But if you do not want to level up your sneak skill as well, I do suggest that you instead come to Whiterun and buy yourself a horse for 1000 gold. God. Man like you needs a war horse, I reckon. Suppose so. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. You've got a deal. And then turn the difficulty up to legendary again, so your horse has more health. And now just attack the horse with your bow. Your horse won't run away from you, it will just let you pelt it with arrows. And you don't need to do this method in sneak mode, so it will just train your archery skill. And once your horse is on low health, just use the in-game wait mechanic to wait one hour and it will refill the horse's health. Just make sure you don't kill it because obviously it's worth a thousand gold to you. This method is going to be slower than the other method because you're not doing a sneak attack so you'll do less damage. If you do want to level up all your other skills to level 100 really quickly though, please do check out the description because I've got a whole playlist on the fastest way to level up your skills. And make sure that you smash that subscribe button and also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter so you don't miss any of my Skyrim video guides. And if you did find this power leveling guide helpful guys, please do like the video so I know to make more of them. But thanks again for watching guys, my name is ESO and I will see you, loyal subscriber, in the next Skyrim video guide. Have a fantastic day and goodbye. Don't forget that you can receive text and or email notifications from my channel every time I release a new video. Underneath the video just hit subscribe and then hit the bell next to it. You will now get notified as soon as I release a new video. Welcome to the ESO squad guys.